Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial showing you how to use Ableton Live as an NPC. Um, uh, so basically to do this you're going to need Ableton Live and any MIDI controller. Um, it doesn't matter if it's got pads or keys, well pads or keys would be ideal really. Pads would be most ideal uh, but keys will do. So. Um, what you so what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be getting a song that I sort of want to sample um, and sort of chopping it up and putting it assigning it to different pads on my pad controller. Uh, I'm using the Akai MPD26 by the way, just in case you were wondering what I'm using. Um, and so we're going to make it play like an NPC. Now one of the problems I've had in the past is when I've chopped up a sample and put it into a drum rack, each uh, pad just doesn't sort of cut the other pad out. Now some MIDI controllers will do this like via MIDI, they'll cut each other out, but quite a lot of them don't, especially the cheaper ones. So there is a way of doing it in Ableton Live, which I'm about to show you now. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to uh, get a audio song or sample. I'm going to use this one. This is Le Mont Dosier, Let Me Make Love To You. So I'm just going to drag this into a new audio clip and I'm going to double click on it. Now I only want the first eight uh, bars of this uh, song to sample so I'm going to drag my locator uh, so it um, only sort of covers the first eight bars uh, like you can see here. So the first eight bars are sort of white and the others are grey. That's showing that the others have been sort of cut out. Now you will see here that my warp markers have already time warped this song sample because I've already imported it. If you haven't already imported it into Ableton and you haven't warped it, it might not be warped. Ableton does try and uh, warp it itself, but sometimes it doesn't do a very good job, especially if you've got quite a like sort of busy song. If you got what I mean, there's lots of going on. This song it's quite easy for it to do because there's not much going on. But if you um, haven't warped it and you don't know how I will do a tutorial on time warping for you to show you how to do it. It's very simple um, just you've got to learn now to do it once and then you can do it forever. So basically we have our 8 bar sort of loop and that's what I want to sample. Now usually what you would do is you would chop this up into sort of 8 sections and drag them into a, uh, a drum rack or an impulse instrument and we're not going to do that this time so we're just going to close that and we're going to right click on this audio clip and do slice to new MIDI track. Now if you have time warped it correctly you will be able to slice it per bar and however much you've sort of selected in the white zone that's however much it will um, slice to a MIDI track. So I'm just going to select bar, you can also do warp marker, transient, every half note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note or 30, 30, 1 over 32, 32th note. Um, but I'm going to do it to bar uh, and then press OK. So it did that quite quickly. Uh, we're going to turn our attack and release on our um, envelope generators. The attack going to put all the way down and we're going to put the release all the way up so it plays our samples uh, as long as they sort of are. So I'm just going to play you the samples now. Now the problem I usually have is, uh, or I used to have, not anymore because I know how to do this now, but I used to have a problem where I would play one pad and then I'd play another but the first pad would keep playing and I didn't want that to happen. I wanted the second pad or third pad or whatever to cut the previous pad out. Um, so this is what would happen usually. And it's just a mess you can hear it's not nice at all so to uh, stop that happening we're going to open we're going to press this uh, sort of drop down arrow and this will open up the track for every one of these slices every one of these eight slices you can see there's eight tracks <coughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have the in and out button pressed so it's yellow and we are going to th this will show the choke groups uh, for each track. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select each of our 
uh, slices to choke group one, like so. So this now means if I press pad one and then pad four, pad four will sort of choke pad one and stop it playing, a bit like this. Sorry it's about that time, I have a bit of latency at the moment and I haven't fixed it yet. But yeah, so you, you understand what I've done now. So each pad is cutting each other, each other pad out. Um, so yeah, so you have your samples, you can play around with them on your MIDI controller. But you might want to add some drums as well. Uh, so you can sort of play along, sort of create a little beat. Um, so just load up some drum samples, I'll just get a kick, just get a random kick. And the beauty about this is you can still drag things in to your instrument, even though it's, well, yeah, you can still drag things in. And then you can actually assign a different choke group to other um, like things. So I could assign the kick drum to choke group, group three, and then maybe another kick drum to choke group three as well. So each kick drum would cut each other kick drum out. Uh, this was also pretty good for sort of hi-hats when you have an open hi-hat and a closed hi-hat. So you could play the open hi-hat and make the closed hi-hat cut the open one out, which is a lot more realistic than having an open and a closed playing at the same time. But like I've assigned this kick drum to uh, choke group three, so it's, it's wo it won't choke out the uh, our, my other sample. So if I play it, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't cutting it out, uh, which is really good. So you can have more than one sort of set of samples in your instrument and play them however you want and sort of set it up, personalise it yourself and that's a really good way of sort of emulating an MPC style instrument in Ableton Live. Um, if you have any questions about this uh, leave them in the comments or inbox me and I will answer them as fast as I can. If you want me to do any tutorials or just have any other general questions about Ableton Live or any other sort of recording or anything like that uh, leave it in the comments again or um, inbox me and if you want me to do any tutorials I'm not sure if I just said that I think I did sorry but yeah if you want me to do any let me know and I will try and do it for you um, and make sure you subscribe to our channel thank you bye <laughs>